Hi readers, me here, and apparently the last few days of 2023 is just going to be book call after book call for me because I bought a lot of books. Just kidding. I'll probably do my favorite books of the year on like the, the 30th, but today's a book call. But seriously, folks, I am going to definitely try to rein it in and limit myself to select new releases next year and then read from my extensive extensive pile of books that I now own. Anywho, this is two um, purchases. One was an accidental purchase that I made today at Barnes & Noble, and the other is a book outlet binge. So, let's start with The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. I had not heard of this book, but one of my colleagues told me he was reading it, and so I have it on audiobook because I had a free credit but when I started listening to it, it sounds so meditative and I usually listen to audiobooks in my car and I don't want to fall asleep on the road. Next I picked up because I was buying this and I picked up another because Barnes & Noble was having a sale Ruthless Vows and apparently I'd already pre-ordered a different edition of this a Barnes & Noble exclusive because as soon as I got home from buying this I got an email saying this book was on the way but anywho it's not going to be the first time I've had two copies of the same book now let's dive into my I've got to move some things out of the way my bookshop um, book outlet binge the first glasses please is the Magic of Lemon Drop Pie, a novel, and uh, this is such a compelling premise, an uplifting novel about a heartbroken young pie maker who's granted a magical second chance to live the life she did not choose. Um, I think this author also has something else coming out this year, so that might be a new release, next 2024, a new release that I buy. Next. More in keeping with what I've been buying and reading lately is The Art of Resistance, a memoir, my four years in the French underground. As you know, if you've watched any of my um, videos or if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I am intrigued by the French resistance and I'm trying to learn more about that, particularly about women, although this is by Justice Rosenberg. Next up, Ian Kershaw, who I just got some books from uh, by the other day. This is To Hell and Back, Europe, 1918, nope, 1914 to 1949. So, again, this will cover both of the World Wars. Really looking forward to using that as a reference. Next up, again, I'm trying to focus my fiction and my nonfiction books next year so the magic of lemon drop pie was kind of a one-off it'll be a palette cleanser this is the paris library by janet skelsey skesslein charles sorry i butchered that two timelines you know i love that one is paris 1939 one is montana 1983 and it's about a library in Paris and the Nazi op occupation, and we'll see what happens next. I'm not going to try to describe all of these to you. The Paris Apartment, Kristen Harmel, guess what? It's about Paris 1939. Ooh. She gives gives away her daughter for protection she doesn't really give her away comes back finds out her daughter's gone and now she can't find her daughter um some of the heavier ones on the bottom here this book is one that i will read re or reference relatively soon it is blood oil and the axis the allied resistance against a fascist state in iraq iraq and the levant 1941. So I have been wanting to look at the um, Middle Eastern side of World War II for a while. 
Just got to figure out where to squeeze it in, when to squeeze it in. So one thing I've noticed about all these, not all, a lot of books about that are coming out nonfiction about individuals in war, it's always that one person who changed the course of the war. And really, it can't be just one person. It probably is the efforts of a lot of different people, each of which was important and necessary. Anywho, this is a game of bird and wolves, and apparently these ingenious young women, their secret board game helped win World War II. Again, I'm sure there was more help involved. Um, another thing that's a little one-off, this is by the author of The Dead Romantics, which I did enjoy. And that is called The Seven Year Slip. And, um... So there's a time slip in this. I love time slips. I love time travel. I am excited to read that at some point. Ooh. Okay. Next up, so I've focused primarily on World War II the European front. Now I've got a book about the Middle Eastern front. I've got plenty of books. I've probably got books about Africa as well. Um, but this is an area I have not explored at all. It is called We Band of Angels, the untold story of the American women trapped on the baton. So kind of got a little bit of small print, but this is one I'm because it deals with women, I'm going to definitely try to prioritize next year at some point. And finally, again, led somebody into victory. However, I could not resist this book. It is called Five Lieutenants, the heartbreaking story of five Harvard men who led America to victory in World War I. And I cannot remember where I heard about this book but it is about five Harvard men all connected to each other at various degrees who meet different fates in the battle on the Western Front in 1918. I am very interested in this book. I'm not going to sit here and read it for you. Anywho, I will probably... have more before the end of the year book calls, but I've really got to stop. It is out of control. However, I've got a reference if I want to go back to school. That's it for me. Happy reading. Happy holidays.